welcome back. It's been a minute um, and I don't have a lot of time to do this, so I'm going to try to be speedy. It's going to be a holiday unboxing. It's actually January 6th today. Um, and these are all of my Christmas horses. <laughs> um, with COVID and everybody shipping Christmas gifts, the post office was like super, super backed up. And by the time all of my horses came in, I figured I might as well just wait until my glossy Briarfest store specials came in because then I could open them all together. And those just came in last night. So, um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna talk about these as I open them and I think I have like six or seven traditionals and a couple stable mates. So these are all gifts that I bought for myself. I have a job, I'm an adult, I'm financially responsible, I have horses, it's fine. Oh, small one first. These are the staple mates. I've been wanting these two for a really long time. They're hard to come by. Oh, this is the ornament. Very pretty. A little late for this year, but it's the artist signature glass ornament from 20, I don't know. I think it was from two years ago, but it's got Desitato on the front of it and I don't know, some other horse that I don't recognize on the back of it. <laughs> it's very pretty. I like that color. Okay. And then, ah, ooh, she put them in their original packaging. Yay. Okay, so now I have all three of the single day stable mates from Vive La France that I want. Um, the other one is a Pacer, I think a standard red, and I don't collect that mold. So I already have Creme Brulee. Um, and I love creme brulee. So this is creme, cre, crepe Suzette. Crepe Suzette, like a crepe. I don't, I took French, but I, I don't know much about their food. Um, so this is the Cantering Warm Blood Mold, and he is like a really cute Appaloosa, glossy Blanca Appaloosa. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can't see him. I'll show him to you later. Oh, he's so she. She is so beautiful. Oh, I cannot. Oh, I can't wait to show them. I'm so excited, you guys. <laughs> I am so excited. I was putting together um, a plan for a show that I'm entering. Well, I can enter now. It's a photo show. And, um,. I put them on the list and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Love them. And then this one, oh goodness, um, mer meringue, I believe is how you pronounce that word. Um, this is the one that I, hello, this is the one that I really wanted. <sighs> Standing thoroughbred mold. Hello, how may I assist you? There's a box. It's very exciting. Um, and he is a dappled rose gray pinto. Oh, so pretty. I've wanted this horse for so long. I'm so excited. I got them for a really good deal too. I hadn't purchased them yet because they're like super expensive for stable meats, but she gave me a really good deal on them. So, especially cause I bought three things. Um, I bought some cookies, you guys. Just kidding, this is just the box they came in, which at first I was like, what the heck? But you know what? It's a pretty sturdy box. I'm like, nothing's shaking around in there. So, okay, <sighs> here he is. Oh, <sighs> here he is. This is the Glossy Ideal Quarter Horse um, Collector Club Appreciation Model. So he was a regular run from 2020. And then he was one of the six, I think six, that they produced in gloss for the CCA event. Um, so you basically got him through your purchase. I did my CCA boxing actually probably in the last video in order that I'll upload these. So I pulled Truly Unsurpassed. Not a super big fan, don't really collect Lady Faze. So I traded her for a glossy easy to spot and then I traded my Troubadour for a Glossy Winx. So he's my third, and I actually have also have a Glossy Dominante coming. So that makes four. <laughs> so then the only one that I'm going to be looking for, 
other than those four is True North. So maybe maybe it was eight. Maybe they did eight. They, they did like a whole herd of glossies this year. So now I have this guy and Winx and Easy to Spot and Dominante I have coming. So just True North and then that'll be all the ones I want. So they, they killed me a little bit this year with the horses they picked. I don't know which one of these is in each box, but I roughly know who this is. So, one of my hobby resolutions for the new year was to work on my Arabian and Spanish horse congas. And so, ah, this is the original Ash Car. Here he is. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, his color is amazing. What a beautiful deep chestnut, you guys. Wow. But I bought both Glossy Ideal and this guy from friends on Instagram. And so thank you guys for letting me purchase them. They're both lovely. And oh, I'm so excited to have him. I have wanted him for a long time. He goes for quite a bit of money typically. Um, and I felt that his price was super reasonable and that this one had really nice shading. He does oh I'm so excited okay so one more one more secondary market purchase and then the rest of these guys are my Briarfest glossies so this is another one <laughs> another one for the conga really wanted this variation and when it came up I was like yes please I will take one okay here he is so this is Koenor Koenor um, so he is on the totalist mold and he was the run that came out, I think it was 2018, either 2017 or 2018. And basically what he is, is the holiday horse that they kind of went back and gave a darker mane and tail. So he's the, um, oh my gosh, what's the holiday horse's name? I don't know, but the, the gloss, or not the glossy, the, the pearly Palomino totalist holiday horse. Um, who I also have. And this is literally the same horse. They just gave him a darker mane and tail. They gave him some variation in his socks. So like mine is the four sock variation and that's the one that I wanted. Um, just cause I think it gives him the best depth of color just personally. Um, and yeah, he's really cool. He looks, this color actually looks in my opinion a lot better in gloss. Um, I feel like it just makes it a little bit more believable. <laughs> than the matte does with the pearly, because I'm not huge on pearlies, but obviously I love Totalist, so I needed to have him. Hey, happy holidays 2017 on his belly. That's so funny. What a creative idea. And like, people like me are like, oh yes, another Totalist, please. Okay, <laughs> so um, it's 2020 and the Celtic Fling Briar Fest basically online briar fest and the store kept crashing during um like when people were trying to purchase their store specials and it was just chaos and everyone was upset everyone was disappointed saying oh i'm never gonna do online briar fest again Wee! it was just this whole thing um so briar's solution was to gloss all of the store specials and say hey you can pre-order these we're gonna send them you know at the end of the year I ended up getting everything that I wanted in matte, which was all three of them. And then I ordered all of them in gloss. So there are three store specials in gloss in this box. Um, I'm really hoping that that's not going to be a reoccurring theme with Online Briar Fest for 2021. I don't want to have to buy all of them. It hurt my wallet, but I just, the Celtic fling theme killed me. All the molds were molds that I collected. I love ponies, I love drafts, and it was just, it was difficult. So I'm hoping this year I won't want as many of the horses that they produce. Maybe they'll use some molds I don't like. That'd be great. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna open these guys because I've been waiting so long for them. <laughs> okay, we're going with the pony first. Is he cute? Oh, wow. He is really nice and gloss. 
Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I like him a lot. <laughs> I like him so much. I'll unbox them at the end so that you guys can kind of see them. Ooh. Yay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Newsworthy. Just my heart. Okay. Cheesecake. Actually, so, so the one that I'm most excited for on gloss is Benelli, just because I feel like his color in gloss just makes me want to cry. So cheesecake can be next. Oh, I oh I really like him. People were complaining that he looked orange. I don't think he looks orange at all. I really like him in gloss. Oh, poor cheesy. You look great, buddy. Yeah, I love him in gloss. He's super cute. Why why were y'all like mad about this? No, I really like him. His color looks very similar to me. Maybe it'll photograph a little bit differently, but very, very similar. Just, you know, a little shiny. He's cute. I like him a lot. Okay. All right, here's Benelli. Is he cute? Is he cute? Oh yeah, he's so cute. <laughs> Oh, he reminds me of my glossy gray Shire. Yeah, ugh, I'm really glad. I'm really glad I got all three of them, but I'm really glad I got him. Oh, he's so cute. Yay. Okay, so I am going to unbox these guys and then I will do an up close clip at the end. Yay. Okay, so here's the close-up. I promised it is going to have to be pretty quick. However, I will still do it. So here is Koenor. Koenor. Um, he's super cute, shiny, glossy, beautiful. Not a whole lot to say about him. He is really nice. Here is my Ashkar, who is also beautiful. Look at the color and the dapples. Like, holy cow. I'm really excited about this one, you guys. Um, here is my glossy ideal. I love this horse in gloss. The coat color really pops well. I do need to dust him. He does have some just little pieces of dust over his gloss, but that's easy to get off. And then my store specials they're so nice look at cheesy oh my gosh he was made to be in gloss you guys like these horses all look so good in gloss oh my gosh i after unboxing them i think that top gun is my favorite um in gloss big surprise there i'm a newsworthy fan but he's just so nice here's benelli who is just, I mean, like his color is already beautiful and the gloss just, ugh, just so, so nice. And then here are my stable mates. So here's a little bit more of a close up on them. This is, oh my goodness, I don't, I already don't know how to say their names because I can't see them. But here's this guy and here's this guy. I'm so excited to have them. I'm so excited to show them. Ugh, I'm just so excited. And then, of course, there's my ornament that I bought with them. So, ta-da! Here's my Christmas holiday haul. Alrighty, I'll see you guys later. Bye! Didn't mean to say it like that Stay